Hello everyone and welcome back to another ninja tutorial. So this one is going to be also pretty short. We're going to be showing you how you can edit the preloader. We're getting a lot of support queries from people all around the world asking how they can adjust their preloader for the template. We're going to be learning how we can hide the logo, uh, hide the preloader, show the preloader. We're going to be like editing the color of it, editing the contents of it, and then like finally like seeing how it's going to be working live. So let's jump into Webflow and see how we can make this work. We want to go ahead and open the navigator panel here. So as for the preloader itself, you can double click the preloader. You can set it display flex here and then we're going to be seeing the uh, preloader up here one of the things we're going to notice is that the preloader has the filters inverted to 100 percent just because previously we had a pattern on the background so we just inverted that to be a different color so let's remove that from both of them we want to change for a uh, color of it so let's go ahead and add like this brand color like this and now we need to adjust the logo itself so the preloader logo can be added as we added the black logo previously, now we can fall back to it pretty easily, to orange make it. And let's say in this case, we want to make this be bigger. Let's do maybe it's going to be fun too, it's like that it's 15. And like adjust some more items of it. So in this case, we're going to be going into the interactions panel, or we can just press H. We're going to see start preloader. So the preloader is starting. This is moving inside of the viewport is out expo so you can see like this let's extend this to be one second maybe something like that a lot better then when the preloader finishes loading we previously had this rotate as far as i know we're gonna check that in another interaction this is gonna be opening up bam so now in order that is done but we're gonna be removing the rotation itself so we have a loop preloader logo so in order to remove that on all pages so we don't forget anything anywhere, we're going to be just going ahead basically clicking here and deleting the interaction completely. So now we can go and add maybe one more thing of adding like a background here. Let me go ahead and like find maybe even a white background. It's too much or adjust it to be a lighter color. And let's add that to our color palette for later. So yeah, now we added the preloader colors. We added like the preloader content with everything. And now the final step is like opening the navigator on the left again, uh, selecting the preloader wrap and then hiding it. This way, when you do open it up, we have a new unique preloader with our colors working perfectly. So yeah, that was everything for this one. See you in, in the next tutorial about how you can edit the homepage and uh, start adjusting the template even more. So yeah, talk to you later. Bye-bye.